What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We'll be talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about The Exorcist, the David Gordon Green movie that's coming out later this year. We'll be talking about the Scream franchise, going over a little bit, a tidbit that came out uh, from paramount during their panel day at CinemaCon, and going over a quiet place day one and also rounding it out by reflecting on the saw x logo that was revealed at CinemaCon yesterday as well i believe so starting off with the exorcist the official title of david gordon green's upcoming exorcist film is the exorcist believer that is the official title of david gordon green's upcoming sequel the first in what i guess is going to be a trilogy if it succeeds the trailer or first footage was shown at CinemaCon, and according to hollywood reporter this kicked off after the devil takes over the bodies of two children in the trailer a father drops off his daughter at school however she and a friend go missing after school when they are found in the woods they seem changed and unaware that they were gone three days believing it just been a few hours at another point in the trailer one of the girls covered in communion wine walks into a church mass screaming at the priest the body and the blood finally the parents call upon chris mcneil who is reprising her role of course from the original film this being ellen burston that being she attempts to help the girls one of whom has been carving her daughter's name on her stomach so i'm assuming this is in reference to reagan who we know is played by linda blair now the footage that was shown apparently looked good it looks spectacular it apparently showed a lot of promise i know there are some people who are not looking forward to this because of what david gordon green did with halloween kills and halloween ends i will still give this a chance there is a strong chance that this would just go over a lot better since this franchise doesn't have i would say the biggest as big a fan base as Halloween, where I guess what's happening on your screen means a lot more to the diehard Halloween fans as opposed to The Exorcist. So time will tell if this is a successful new Exorcist film from David Gordon Green. But the official title, you guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. What do you think about the footage description that came out from CinemaCon that's been reported on the internet and making the rounds? Diving into A Quiet Place Day 1. A Quiet Place Day 1 footage was also shown at CinemaCon today and some minor plot descriptions have also surfaced online from those in attendance. Now according to Discussing Film, the film will follow Lupita Nyong'o who we know stars in the film as a mother trying to survive following the alien invasion we also know that Joseph Quinn and Alex Wolf are involved in the project as well as we learned earlier this year or a few months ago so this is giving me shades of Emily Blunt who stars as the mother of the Abbott family in our main set of films which still has another entry on the way by the way um, and then according to Eric Goldman from Fandom, the day one footage that was shown showed Lupita sitting on a bus in New York when suddenly the back of the vehicle is demolished, leaving a crater, and we see the arrival of the creatures from the sky. Also, there's a cat in it, and I saw some other users reference seeing the aliens or like seeing the aliens or asteroids or wherever they came from falling from the sky. Now, for whatever reason, it was revealed that this movie takes place in New York City. Maybe I, I had it mistaken, but I thought New York was always the setting for those first two movies. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal unless the intent was to highlight that it's actually going to be taking place in the literal New York City this time. So, Scooper Jeff Snyder also pointed out that the tagline for the upcoming film, A Quiet Place Day 1, is witness the day the world went quiet. Now, again, A Quiet Place Day 1, it is not continuing the Abbott family story. It is a spinoff set in the same universe, but the Abbott story will still continue. I'm sure this spinoff will go over well. I'm sure it'll be another decent entry. Some people might end up not liking it because it does not have the Abbots in it. I'm still looking forward to it, looking forward to see what Lupita Nyong'o can do in another action-packed horror movie. You guys, let me know down in the comment section if you're looking forward to a quiet place day one why or why not now jumping into scream just a quick thing about scream scream 7 was not announced but mentions of listening to the consumer during paramount's panel today would indicate that of course it's not off the table and just wasn't brought up simply because they're working on a few things related to the project still whether that be securing writers directors working on cast deals or just wanting to have more things in place before they announce it we'll see why we haven't actually had it announced i guess when it's officially announced because i think that by the time it's announced we're going to get a lot more now than just oh hey scream 7 is happening they're going to give us a lot more than just hey it's happening you probably get a cast you'll probably get directors you'll probably get the plot you'll probably get a lot more than last time because with scream 6 we just found out that it was basically happening and that the core four will be back now they did mention that scream 6 was the highest grossing entry in the series but my question there is 
are they referring to domestically or all together? Because I think it's domestically wise, the highest grossing, highest grossing interest. I think that is factually true. But there are still some numbers that may have been given to Paramount, of course, that we don't know about related to the international success that could be them actually referencing the overall financial success is the best in the series. But time will tell. Uh, Scream 7, again, it will come together when it comes. We know Paramount allegedly is hoping to have it start shooting no later than October. And the success of the last entry is all but a confirmation of a sequel happening. So don't count the seventh film out just yet. It just sadly was not announced today. Uh, jumping into the last thing I wanted to talk about, Saw X. Saw X had its official logo revealed during CinemaCon today, as well as, I as, well as just going over this logo really quick here. I love how bold and confident this x comes off to me this basically is confirming that the title will be saw x which is cool i guess viranon did recently tweet out that they've heard saw x is excellent from folks at Lionsgate, but i mean why wouldn't they say that i mean I, it goes without saying it's just no different than i guess paramount or kevin williamson saying that scream six is great <laughs> but apparently this movie will surprise us and knock us on our ass i mean isn't that the Saw thing? <laughs> you have a surprise ending and some twist you probably didn't see coming. But whatever. Saw X, according to Viewer Non, revolves around Jigsaw going after a corrupt doctor who sells so-called miracle treatments. And it's set in between the earlier set of movies, which is why we know John Kramer is back. Tobey Bell, of course, reprising the iconic character. But the logo reveal was nice to see. Actually, the last thing I want to make mention of here is Smile 2. Smile 2 is officially in the works. It was confirmed and addressed during the CinemaCon panel today from Paramount. And a lot of people, myself included, I saw were like, well, didn't they already announce this? I guess they legitimately didn't. It was just reported that Smile 2 would be a priority. So officially here at CinemaCon, somebody from Paramount made it known that Smile 2 is in the works and it is happening. Now, I'm expecting Kyle Gowner's character to still play a factor in this narrative somehow, but it doesn't have to revolve around him. I mean, it's just perfectly set up at the end of the first movie for that to be what the sequel revolves around. But we'll see what ends up happening with Smile 2. You guys can let me know if you're excited about any of these things down in the comment section below. Why or why not? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.